so much, Janice. Well, you know, we talked a lot about protecting your identity, but what do you do if you find out that your identity has been stolen? Stuart Welch from the Wealth Group joins us now with some steps right here that people should take. Good to see you. Good morning. We know that can be a, a scary situation for somebody. They're thinking, oh my goodness, my, my identity's been stolen. So what's the first thing they need to do? Well, first of all, there are four steps, and this okay. is going to be on your website. People want to get it because there's a lot of detail in here. Mm -hmm. The first step is you want to call the store or the company where the theft occurred. Okay. So if it was at a department store, you want to call them and you want to have them either freeze or close that account. So that's like putting a tourniquet around it, stopping the bleeding or at least slowing it down. All right, temporarily. Okay, and then we've talked about this before about placing a fraud alert uh, with the three credit bureaus. Talk about that a little bit. So you've got Experian, Equifax, TransUnion. You only have to call one of them mm -hmm. and let them know that you want to put a fraud alert. They're required by law to, to notify the other two. But the fraud alert now means that nobody can open credit in your name without your express uh, permission. So that's going to kind of stop that end of it. That's okay. a good place to so, go. So call Equifax.com, Experian.com, or TransUnion and say, look, I want to I want to do a fraud alert on my credit. That's right? exactly right. Now, they also have a credit freeze. What's the difference? Well, the credit freeze basically says there is your no credit can be opened at all mm -hmm. unless you forcibly go in there and remove the freeze and then put the credit on and then you put okay. the freeze back. So it could cause a little issue if you're trying to, if there's a store and you want to apply for credit or a car or whatever, you got to go through the process. All right, now this is something interesting I've never heard before. File a theft report with the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission. Why yeah, this is, is this is, I don't know if this is new, but this is kind of a new process. Federal Trade Commission, you're going to file a report. It's called an identity, identity theft affidavit. You can do it online or you can call up on phone and do it, but it's just really a report that shows that shows a, a, a complete detail of what actually happened. And I know local authorities, uh, local police departments are trying to crack down on this, uh, but not all of them, uh, you know, they have, they have a lot of stuff, other stuff that fish they're trying to fry, fry so to speak. Yeah, they, a lot of, this is, uh, the fourth thing is you want to file a police report with your local uh, police department. They want, a lot of them won't be used to this, so there's some things you need to give them. That's why they need to go to your website and get this complete in, uh, information. But when you put the federal, uh, uh, the identity theft affidavit, with the police report, it creates your identity theft report. Okay. And that is something that you can take to a business that proves that you've had your identity stolen and it also guarantees you certain rights. So that's why we want to go through these okay. four-step process. Very important. Okay, so again, you can check out, check this out, this four-step process on myfoxale.com. You can also access that through our app. Stuart Welch, thank you so much. Appreciate thank, it. Thanks, Mike. Good tips, good steps.